Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Gila Monster by King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard today. Uh, just before we jump into it, I'll let you know that if you're after tabs for this song and any other song I've made tutorials for, you can jump onto Patreon, sign up there, that's the place to go to get them. Um, if you want to support me without signing up to anything, you can just buy me a coffee, that's linked below as well. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I've put together a Spotify playlist that's got all the songs I've made tutorials for in it, so you can have a listen through that and see if you want to learn anything else. Uh, also, if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. But now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. Alright, so for this tune, you're going to need to tune down a little bit. So, um, I don't think this is how they actually play it, but it's um, a tuning that you don't need to retune everything and you can still play the song. Um, so we're just dropping the low E string down to a B. And A goes down to a G. And the rest are all standard, so you've got D, G, B and E. Um, yeah, so no capos or anything, and in terms of sections, just got um, a few to get through. We've got the chorus, which is what we hear at the top, and we've got solo one over the top of that. We've got verse one, which has got a couple of variation riffs um, that you can sort of throw in there. We've got the bridge, um, verse two, solo two. Um, there's a slight harmony for solo two as well, so I'll show you that. Um, that's all the first section and then the end section has got three riffs and a solo So I'll go through section by section give you an example of each part and then I'll teach it to you All right, so uh, The sort of the first section which is chorus one and solo one sounds like this So, yeah, so I'll teach you the rhythm guitar part first, and just that. Just this repeated over and over. So because we've got that low, that low E down to a B, and we've got the A down to a G, um, this is sort of going to be our bass sort of. So we're just chugging away on that bottom bottom string and then we get a power chord effectively by just playing two notes together um, in the same fret on strings five and four. So we start out with two, um, so fourth fret on the fifth and fourth strings. And you can hit the open sixth string as well. Do that. Then we go one, two, three on the low string. Do that three times. And then we've got this, which is uh, in the fifth fret now on strings five and four. Slide it back to fourth fret. Two chugs on the bottom string, and then two. Slide up to three with that same sort of power chord shape. And just repeat that around. And that's the chorus. Um, yeah, so that repeats throughout the song as well. Alright, so now we've got the solo to learn in that section as well. So start out on that third string, which is 9, hammer on to 11. Quick 9, pull off to 8, hammer on to 9. And just do a quick sort of uh, holding on to 9 on the third string, just a quick bend up and back. Pull off to eight. Then we've got this little, this little move, which is just on the third string, eight hammer on to nine, pull off back to eight. And then we play 10 on the fourth string. Just do that a few times. And then slide down to seven on the fourth string. So, so far we've got. Then the second half. Uh, eight on the third string. Then eight, nine, eleven. And we've got eleven still on the third string. Eight, eleven on the second string. Then 
Then we've got a similar sort of little hammer on move to what we played down lower. But now we're going on the first string, 11, hammer on to 12, pull off back to 11. And we have 13 on the second string. And then we go 11, hammer on to 14 on the first string, pull off back to 11, and then 12 on the second string. And you just do that, and that's that quick sort of... bit at the end of that first solo. Um, but yeah, that's the first section. Right, we head into verse one now, and sounds like this. All right, so yeah, just sort of chugging along nice and heavy. Um, so, that's all we're doing pretty much here. So, um, you can sort of do that, just sit on 4th um, fret on the 5th string with the open 6th string, just hit that at the start, and we're just chugging along on the bottom string. I think we do that three times. I sort of think of it as five groups of three. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we've got the riff. Um, so it was sort of a bit hard to make out um, exactly what they're playing here. So there's a couple of options we can do. First one is on the fifth string, five, pull off the two. Then five, hammer on to seven on the sixth string. Then we've got um, three hammer onto five, and then repeat. So that's one option. Um, another thing you can do is same first bit of the riff, but instead of that. Riff at the end we go. That variation, starting on five on the fifth string, then on the sixth string, five hammer on to seven, then open three, five on the sixth string. And repeat. Um, might not be exactly what happens, but it's something that's pretty close. Probably that first one. Um, but that's verse one. Uh, next part to learn is the bridge, what I've called the bridge anyway. And it's that part where Ambrose is singing and it's a bit sort of slowed down a bit. And um, yeah, sounds like this. So, because um, we're in this tuning, we effectively get a power chord by holding down what's typically sort of like a little major third interval. Sort of like your G major sort of shape, but just up a bit. Um, so we're just starting out fifth fret on the sixth string and fourth fret on the fifth string. Let's do sort of um, two groups of three, and you want to do the first one nice and clear and then palm mute the second two. So you do that, then exactly the same thing, just down two frets. So now we've got three and two on the sixth and fifth strings. Um, yeah. Um, so then we go this which is on the sixth string, one, pull off to open, and then hit open again. And we've got two on the fifth string, hit open twice. Then we've got, which is on the second string, five, four, two. And then on the bottom string, six, five, three. And you repeat it. Um, 
Um, that comes back one more time throughout the song as well, but exactly the same. Um, so that's the bridge. Uh, next part to learn is verse two. And yeah, sounds like this. So, just sort of chugging away on that bottom string again, um, the picking pattern does change to like a bit of a more sort of, um, bit of a hectic sort of pattern. Which can be a bit tricky to sort of keep on top of, especially as you go along and you can sort of fatigue a little bit. Um, but yeah, just a bit of practice and you get there. So just starting out, um, again, just hitting that sort of fourth fret on the fifth string, and then we go into the... So it's, in terms of picking, it's kind of like down, up, down, up. That sort of thing. Um, so yeah, hit that, then do the picking. Then we've got, because um, we're effectively just creating a power chord um, when we're holding down sort of two strings in the same fret on strings five and four. Kind of like drop D, but just up a string. Um, we're getting that power chord nine, hammer on to 10 um, on strings five and four. So yeah, open. Then nine to 10. Then we've got 10, slide down to seven. Again, that's over strings five and four. Then we go. That's uh, seven, hammer on to nine on those two strings again. Then quick chug, and then we go, which is again, oh, strings five and four together. Just sort of chromatically walking it down. Seven, six, five, and four. Um, and yeah, so just watch that sort of um, heavy picky pattern. But yeah, that's that's just what happens through that one. Same little, same little catches here and there. Um, the only thing that changes is the last time we hear this verse, which is right before the um, the song sort of stops and it changes to that 11, 11 8 feel. Um, we just get rid of the first nine to ten. So um, yeah, just watch out for that. Um, but yeah, everything else is exactly the same. But that is verse two. Um, all right, so solo two sounds like this. All right, so we're starting out just moving the same little sort of major chord shape around. So we're just starting at holding nine on the fourth string, eight on the third, and seven on the second. And we're just sort of palm muting and plucking those individually. So string four, three, two. Then we just move it up a fret. So now we've got 10, nine, eight. Move it back, and then move it down two frets. So we've got seven, six, five now. And we do this twice. Then we've got. So we're now just flattening out our finger over strings two and three. Uh, starting in the fourth fret. Do that twice. Move it over one to the fifth fret. Back to four. And then we're heading just the second fret on the third string. And then just doing that. Just that again, just four, four, five, four. Um, yeah, so that's sort of the first little half. Then we've got the quick little trills. So guitar one, this is where a harmony sort of comes in. So we're just trilling between seven and eight on the third string. Then between 11 and 12. 
Then we move up to the second string, and we go up between 11 and 13. Sorry, 10 and 13. And just finish on the 12th fret. Um, so that's what guitar one is doing. And then just to finish it off, um, we just hear this. So it's up to 16th fret on the third string, back to 15, and then, then we're hitting uh, 16 on the fourth string, and then guitar one is just hitting, and that's 18 on the second string. And you just do a slow bend up. Yeah, so that's guitar one for solo two. Um, and then the harmony for solo two um, is just when the trills start happening. Um, so we're starting at trilling on the second string between six and seven. Then we move up to 11 and 12. Then we go to eight and 11 on the first string now. And we slide up and finish on just hit 14. And then, same first three notes for this last little bit. So we've got um, 16, 15, down to 16 on the third and second strings. But now we go up to 18 on the first string. And do a slow bend up to 19 there. Uh, but yeah, that's solo too. Um, so that's the whole of the first section. Everything is just repeats of that. Um, and then only part to learn now is the end section. Um, this section changes to 11.8, so just watch out for the time, uh, time signature change. Um, yeah, but so we start with riff one in this bit, uh, or section one, riff one and the third solo of the song. It goes like this. So, riff one um, is just just this repeated over and over. So again, just using four on the fifth string with the open open sixth. Just do that together. Then we've got eight on the um, on the bottom open sixth string, and then just three two. Um, on the sixth string as well, and then repeat. And that is riff one. Um, solo three that we heard before as well. Just starting out on the second string, and we go seventh fret, down to six, up to eight, up to 12, 11, 11, all on the second string. Then we've got this quick sort of, um, just moving up sort of a diminished scale here. So quick trill all on the first string, going between seventh fret and 10th fret. Just a quick hammer on pull off. Then we move up to the 10th fret and go between 10 and 13. Same thing again. And then we just move up to 13 and go between that and 16. Um, yeah, that's all that solo three is. Um, we've got riff two to learn now, and that's the part that sounds like this. So again, just um, just got like this power chord. They were holding down with the one finger over strings five and four in the 10th fret. So just hitting that. Just chugging along on that bottom string and then go three, five, and then hitting that power chord again. Um, yeah, that's all that, that part is. You can hit it as a power chord there. 
you just want to save sliding up the, the um, up the neck there. And all that power chord is is three on the third on the fourth string, sorry, and five on the third. <laughs> So on. Um, all right, next part to learn, and last part to learn is riff three in this end section, and sounds like this. All right, so just sort of chugging along, and then throwing some power chords in here as well on the fifth and fourth string. Um, yes, yeah, so that's all that's happening. So that's just a power chord, fifth, uh, fifth and fourth strings together on the ninth fret. Then we go chug, 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 up to ten, chug, 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 seven, nine, and then we repeat that sort of pattern in terms of rhythm. So it's chug, and then we've got nine, ten, then we go seven, five, and just sort of reverse that at the end there. Um, yeah, and that's riff three, the last part to learn. It just goes back to riff two at the end there. And um, yeah, that's the whole song. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Hope you enjoy playing along with that one when you get it down. I was jamming along to it all day yesterday. It's such a fun tune. Um, really love the, the new stuff from, from Kid and Giz, as always. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon, like these wonderful people here. Really appreciate any support that comes through there. Um, yeah, you can follow me on socials, Facebook, Instagram, all that. Check out that Spotify playlist I mentioned earlier. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Buy me a coffee if you want. But yeah, that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>